cars down there. Just about 100, 100 yards, 150 yards. It's so pretty here. And occasionally we hear this frog croak. Nice little swampy area there. I mean, man, it is fucking pretty. Excuse my language, but it's goddamn pretty. This is the Baskahegan Woods. It's owned by the Baskahegan Company. It's just lovely out here, man. Oh, man, I'm glad I got out of my depression, out of my bed, and came out here. Oh, it's beautiful. And that's where the uh, track logging machine went in probably last year and drove in there and cut out some trees they wanted to harvest. And they throw some dead wood down there, so I guess they don't get bogged down in the mud or it's just the extra wood. Those track machines, they end up, uh, well, they can cut the, uh, the branches right off the tree and then cut the tree and that's great. I mean, they're, it's all modern now. You know, 50 years ago, you had guys out here with chainsaws. No more. And I can hear that bird. I, I forget what it kind it's not. It's going, and it's like a bird. And it's telling me that I'm in its territory and I can, there it goes. And I forget the name of that bird. So beautiful. Right up there to that tree, I can see the moon. Yeah, I just kind of see it. Oh, man. Wow. You know, I was out looking at the sky last night. And you could just see the Milky Way up here in Maine by the Canadian border. You can, you can almost walk by the, there it is. There's a couple of those birds and I can't think of their name and they're, they're calling back and forth. They're probably telling each other, this is my territory. I don't know what their conversation. Well, <laughs> lovely. Not too many bugs and mosquitoes. Most of the, uh, most of them have been eaten by the, the horse, well, the, um, can't think of the name of those, uh, long, uh, mosquito, those bugs that eat the mosquitoes right now, but. Cars right down there. Actually, you can see the blue the side of the car right there through the trees. We didn't walk too far today, but oh, you know, and I think the last two days I was laying in bed depressed. Or I get up and go to the computer, and uh, no big deal. What's the difference, you know? Laying in bed, and right in here I got some bear spray, which I don't really need. And I have a horn, a boat horn, to blow. <laughs> I run into a few bears and stuff out here. They're, it's not like Alaska. Bears are rather shy out here because people hunt them with dogs and, uh, you know, bait and stuff. They're not too bad. Oh, it's so lovely. I don't know what I'm doing living in that house 24 hours a day. Should be living out here. Should be living at a campground somewhere. Well, I don't know what I should be doing. I'm an old man. I'm 69. Uh, well, let me give you a salute. Still the military guy, I guess. <laughs> the hippie guy going through basic training while they're doing Woodstock and making fun of us. And by the time I got out, I wanted to be having long hair and be a hippie myself, but that was just a joke, a ridiculous fantasy. And so was winning the Vietnam War. That was a ridiculous fantasy, too. 
I think most of our lives, our fantasy we make up to make ourselves happy. <laughs> I think, or who knows. Anyway, it was nice being on the planet. Bye now.